Hold on. <laughs> Look at that. What on earth is that? Guys, I don't know. <laughs> All right, guys. I hope you are having a great day. So, Landfall Games with another update. This one is the Napoleonic... Oh, my God. That guy just fell over. <laughs> Oh man, that was epic. Okay, I want to watch that in slow motion later. But anyway, so this is the Napoleonic Flag Bearer and the Napoleonic Swordsman for the Napoleonic Faction. Ladies and gentlemen, this is pretty cool because this is kind of a... The flag bearer, which by the way, that's that's the that's not the French flag, which is kind of funny. They, they uh, messed it up, but hey man, when you're working on epic stuff like that, you know what? You gotta let them, you know, let them slide. But anyway, so... When the flag bearer is present, you can see that these guys are sprinting. There's these dust clouds behind them. So here's the Napoleonic swordsman fighting by himself. And honestly, it looks like... I don't know if they're probably, like, would normally win against these knights in a one-on-one -on -one combat. I'm wondering if those helmets actually protect them. Now, were there just more Napoleonic swordsmen or what? But this is pretty cool because they've got those, like, you know, officer sabers. Like a cavalryman's sabers. Hey... When's cavalry coming to tabs, guys? That's what I want to know. We've already got reindeer and horses on the chariots and sleighs, right? So, I mean, hey, why not have a little bit of cavalry? If the Napoleonic faction got the first cavalryman, that'd be pretty epic. A dude, with, they've already got the sword. You could give him a spear as like a lance. See, they've got the spear, the lance as in the flagpole. Ooh, so here they've got the flag bearer. With the saber, that guy looks like he just cut his throat. Dude, and they just wrecked those guys. Okay, so now we've got bayonet, man. We will give them the bayonet. Viva la revolution. Viva la France. And, dude, they absolutely wreck, man. Bayonet, man. Swordsmen. Or rather, sabers. We'll call them sabers of the new revised Napoleonic faction. Because, I mean, if you think about it, Napoleon faction only has muskets, barrel rollers, and cannons currently. This is pretty epic, guys. So, are you a fan of this? What other factions should get, like, something similar to this, and what should it be? Ladies and gentlemen, let's jump right in to some custom battles and challenges. It's a great day in tabs once again. Hey, guys, when you subscribe to this channel, do me a favor, join Baron's Brigade. Make sure to hit the bell, and then click send me all notifications for this channel, and then click save so that you can be the first to see the videos whenever they're launched. All right, look at this. We've got an anti-Trump rally led by The Hill. This one comes in from Oster, Oscar Groski. We've got a Trump rally. We've got the Trump himself. Where are you at? He is in front of his rally. We've got his people here. We've got the riot police, some SWAT team snipers, and some Tesla tasers. Here are the ralliers. Oh no. Hillary brought some Molotov cocktails. Let's see what happens. So we're gonna put this one on the Neon map because right now it's kind of like the only modern looking one. So what I was expecting, oh my God. We've got a super peasant on each side, but it looks like the rally was completely wrecked. And I think part of that is because of uh, the barrel rollers being placed at the rear. But I'd say right now, everybody's pretty much gone except for the SWAT team sniper rivals and the two super peasants. Hillary and Trump are both disabled. So, Mr. Oscar Grusky, this was his attempt number two. Thank you for your persistence. Now, I want to see if they get zapped off. That'd be really cool if they both got zapped off. And then the SWAT team snipers survived. Oh, they might, they might, and they're gone. So, I think at this point, wow, they can actually shoot through the map. That's really cool. Well, it looks like the Trump pro- well, the Trump ralliers have been victorious. The protesters have been dispatched, but Trump and Hillary have both lost their lives in the conflict. Alright, so let's see. What would we do? I'm gonna put all the barrel rollers over here. And let's just see if that does something. Like, not kill all of these people, because they all get pretty much Tesla coiled. I think that's what happens, but all the laser guys are alive now, as opposed to last time. Wow, all the barrel rollers just kind of blew up on the uh, pylon. Little anticlimactic. The tactics were not very good, and we got a duel. We've got Trump versus Hillary here, guys. So, what do you guys think of all... What? Hillary just put the emails into the Trump, and he is down for the count. Now, we do have two beamers still. Now, will Hillary turn her attention to the super peasant duel? Oh, my God. God, 
Hold on. Did she just fly off the map? Or did she just get wiped out? That's Trump. Wait. Hillary! Rest in peace, Hillary. She doesn't look too good there, guys. She's definitely not looking too good. Yes, so the Napoleonic flag bearer, Saberman, there are so many updates and new units being teased by landfall. And the super peasants are being a little anticlimactic. So one of the suggestions I had to this battle was instead of super peasants, super boxers. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a the super boxer here right up near the front. And then we're going to put this one near the back. So I'm thinking that'll help the riders push through this mass. Look at that. He's doing pretty good. He, he messed up that area of the wall. Huh, speaking of wall, Trump's got a wall. I mean, you know, he's, he's, he's making the uh, red faction pay for it. And you know he's going to do it. Oh my god, the, the beamer snipers are missing. Oh, we got a super peasant. Well, that was, that was a little short-lived. All right, what if we move... Oh, yeah, because the barrel rollers aren't doing anything, right? What if we gave them something else? Maybe... Maybe what they really need are some, like, paparazzi vehicles. Hey, give me that back. Actually, you know what? Screw that. We're going to the Asian faction, and we're going to add some trained katana swordsmen. Because Hillary has been recruiting mercenaries from the Far East... Let's see how that does. I thought I just heard Trump talk about a wall. He hasn't built a wall in this battle yet. Normally he gets, he he's, looks like he's getting taken down relatively early. He's getting emailed, he's getting lasered. It's a Trump, it's a Trump versus Hillary battle right here. I think, yeah, dude, Hillary's pretty, oh my God. Hillary killed her own supporter. Oh, wait a minute. This has totally changed the fabric of this battle. Oh, what? Hillary tripped on a shield and threw the shield. So now we've got a red victory there. Let's do one more. Instead of samurais, what happens if we give her giant axemen? Does that change things? From what we just saw? Because these taser guys are really good at knocking out most of the protesters in like the first two, three seconds of the game. Oh, he got axed. All right, the axemen are doing pretty good. Now they're fighting the rear waves. Let's see, where are the super boxers? If the super, bo super boxers have not met, they're both killing pretty much everybody else. So the good thing about the Hillary is she can fire while retreating. Oh no, this super box is gonna boop, 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 <laughs> knocked her right out. All right, so we've got the super boxer battle and the red one's pretty much beat up. What? The snipers killed their own boxer on accident. Oh, but they got the other one anyway. So it looks like, dude, Beamer rifles, man. You just can't contain firepower of that magnitude. All right, guys. So now we've got the Korean War battle, the Battle of Imjin River, brought to us by Tangy Toby. Toby, you are so tangy. So the red are the Chinese. Now, they've got 70, 70 laser pistols, 30 muskets, and then we've got two groups of 10 archers, which what he says our infiltration units placed in the valley around the map. So, and then we've got four tanks for the United Nation forces, four heavy pieces of artillery, and then a bunch of muskets. Plus we've got two beamer snipers. So, let's see who wins the Battle of Imjin River. Oh God, some artillery looks like they killed the tanks right off the back. So the big thing is gonna see if the United Nations forces can hold this bridge. Now these two tanks are doing pretty good because they're stopping, they're representative of, you know, United Nations armor, right? Oh, one went down. So let's see, we've only got one left, but he's doing a decent job. As long as he can hold. Now we've got the 20 infiltration forces, which didn't seem to do too well. So I think what I'm gonna do is reposition them somewhere else, look at this. Now, that guy's dead because this guy doesn't know what to do. So, so much for infiltration forces. Look at that. The beamer rifles have found them. All right, so I think it's just this group left, maybe? Nope. It is a blue victory. The United Nations forces were successful in large part to the unsuccessful maneuvers of these guys here. So, we're going to move them up. So, let's see. I'm going to try to put them in the trenches. They're going to be in the river. Now, they should jump up. That would be really cool. If 
five. All right. Now let's see if they jump up. And if they decide to take to higher ground, oh my god, there's a lot of friendly fire going on. Well, at least they're distracting. They're doing what they're supposed to be doing, and that's infiltrating and distracting. Now, once again, there's only one tank left. I think it's the artillery pieces, these cannons, that are, are what's really uh, killing the artillery pieces. Or rather, the uh, anti-projectile tanks. Let's see, do we have any... Ooh, we, we got some guys in the trenches. You need to push forward! Whatever Chinese for attack, attack, attack is, that's what we need. But these tanks, man, they're unstoppable. And as a result, the musketmen cannot finish them off. Now, what if... Ooh, actually, things have changed, but I don't think it's enough. I want to know what would happen... Ooh, direct hit. If the Chinese got an artillery piece. And that's, that's a victory. Yeah, we're going to give them one artillery piece. Actually, or maybe some sabotage equipment. And then an artillery piece on the hill back here. This is their command headquarters. Can we put this somewhere where it would fire? Ooh, this looks like a really good spot to have a cannon. We're going to put it up there. Let's see if the cannon does anything. Oh my god, he's actually firing from the sniper ridge. The barrel rollers are going in. We're watching the cannon. Fire! Oh, you bounced off the tree and the shrapnel may have killed one person. But that's about it. It doesn't look like the barrels got in, and the Americans and the United Nations forces do have two tanks left. But this Chinese cannon is ideally situated to rain down the pain on the American positions. Now, this was set up overnight. Oh, it looks like the cannon's gonna try to move down. Oh, did you just aim at one of your own men? No, I guess? Yeah, this guy's gonna have a problem. All right, we're gonna go into real time. He, he yep, he's drunk. The Chinese have decided to relocate their cannon, and as a result, it looks like the war... The war doesn't look too good, unless he can take out that artillery, or that tank. You gotta aim for the tank. Oh, it's down. The tank is down, but are there enough Chinese men left? The Chinese forces are running out of men! Who is that? Was that a box gun? No, 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 that's the piece of the tank. Yeah, the beam rifles should be able to hold down the fort here. Yep. Looks like the Chinese have not prevailed once again. Let's let's try to do one more thing. I'm also going to put some archers on the hills. I'm not going to put them down here anymore because I don't think that works too well. Let's go with snipers on the hills. So that's three. And then we'll have like... Let's see, so that, and then we need one more, right? We're gonna have a sniper on the rock. Oh, we can put him on the rock! Yes! All right, let's see. I wanna see if this, if these snipers do anything or if they all decide to just jump off that cliff, which seems to be happening. That arrow, I don't know where that came from. These guys are not doing too well. They are mountain troopers and they just got beam rifled. So well, here they are climbing together. But since it's a double spawn, they're gonna have a hard <laughs> they're gonna have a hard time hitting or doing anything. All right, how's the cannon on the hill doing? The cannon fell down right away this time. I don't know, man. I don't know what we can do without making major changes to bring the Chinese back into this battle here, as outlined by Mr. Oscar Groski. The cannons, oh, those artillery pieces, those artillery pieces are bringing in the pain. Shrapnel going everywhere. Men are dying. Cannonballs are bouncing. Well, this guy's doing pretty good though. Imagine formation. Oh, that that looked like it hurt. All right, who's left? These guys are left, and we've got one more battle. And this one's pretty intricate and detailed. Oh man, China, you're gonna have to try again. All right, guys. So this one comes in from Gamer Dude 146, and I'm pretty sure he's tried this a few times. But this is Five Nights at Freddy's versus Undertale. And this is the Indie Game Ward. Now, there are lots of units, so I encourage you to pause and check them out and read them. But the blue faction is Five Nights at Freddy's, and I believe Freddy himself is a super peasant? I'm not sure. Anyway, so let's start the battle! Barrel rollers go right off. We got gravity dudes up in the middle, box guns firing, ballistas firing. Oh, dude, if the chicken man man gets knocked out. Oh, he, his foot's in the ring, dude! Why aren't you hitting his foot? 
All right, the ballista is firing. We've got a box gun. Oh, it looks like the box gun's focusing on this ballista. Ballista, your days are numbered. Oh no. Oh no, the super boxer's already in here. <laughs> okay, well, the super boxer was gunned down because he can't be the only boxer. So let's see, we got a super peasant. Oh, dude, that's just not even good, dude. A super peasant versus a lightsaber. He knocked out all the super boxers somehow. He's going after the chicken man, man. I don't, I don't even know. Is he trying to crawl up into that booty or what? Because it looks like, it looks like the lightsaber guy actually. No, I guess you can't kill your own guys that way. So we're waiting for it. Oh my goodness! Did you see that? That thing just turned the chicken man, man over. All right. So blue actually won. I thought that with a super peasant and a super boxer, but I guess. That, let's see. There are four, four super boxes for Freddy, Bonnie, Chica, and Foxy. So maybe, maybe that's part of the issue here. Boom, those gravity guys don't, well, I'm surprised that guy's alive. He's sucking them in. Oh, he lured them right into the beginning of the trap. Okay, if the Hillary doesn't get knocked out, they have a chance. Go, Hillary, go, Hillary, go. Oh, she's getting super boxed. She's not a boxer, she's an old woman. Poor lady can't even fight. Oh, hold on. <laughs> Look at that. What on earth is that? Guys, I don't know. <laughs> this may be one of the silliest things I've ever seen. I don't know what he's doing. But uh, it looks like he's glitching out right now. And that's just special. All right, that's just very special. And boom. Who's left alive? We've got the Super Peasant. Obviously, the Super Peasant is still fighting to the bitter end. Ladies and gentlemen, we've got spears acting as phallic objects on a glitched out gravity guy. The glitched out gravity guy, is he still alive? Did he come back? Where is he? Wait a minute. The Super Peasant could win now. All he's got to do is kill a box gun. What? I don't know how that happened. We gotta run that one again because it seems like it's tied, more or less. We're gonna take a top-down view here. So the box, that's a fantastic box shot. Because the gravity, actually the gravity pulled them all over here. Are they dead? No, they, they lived and the super boxer did not hit them. I think that may have helped them. The box gun, oh no. The Hillary's still alive. Oh, looks like she took like a laser bolt to the chest, but she's still fine. We got the super peasant. Oh, we, we each have a chicken man man, both teams. There are super super boxers down there. This guy looked like he took a ballista bolt from his friend. But this, that's actually giving him more stuff to hit people with, I'm pretty sure. And it's a red victory. I don't, I mean, did, we didn't do anything. Why, why are the results so different this time around? I'm not entirely sure. So thank you, Mr. Gamer Dude, Tangy Toby, and Oscar Grosky. For your suggestions, thank you everybody for voting and making these results get into a video. You guys are the reason, so if you see something you like in the comments that you'd like to see in a video, just hit the like button on it, guys, and that is how it happens. Oh, God. Oh, punched him, uppercut. And I, I think this one's going to go to the red team again. See, when I first looked at it, I thought that the blue team would win, but then I forgot that... No, I thought the red team was going to win easy. I guess that's what's been happening, though, hasn't it? Yeah, yes, 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 yes. Chicken Man Man, you're going to go down. And then we got the Super Peasant fight. I don't really like Super Peasant versus Super Peasant. But it's kind of cool when there's like a tornado of chickens going around. That's pretty cool. And red team is victorious once again. So how do we make red team not victorious? That's pretty easy. Beamer rifles. And I think that this should win the day. If they can hit... Nope. If the Beamer Rifles can take out some VIP targets. Fire! Oh, they just zapped a bunch of people. I'm not entirely sure who got zapped. Yeah, at this point, the red team's pretty much wiped out. And box gun. Tripping them up. Trip them up! But Neon Peasant, what are you doing? You guys... He was, like, licking that dude's kneecap. Who's left alive? Oh, my goodness. The Super Peasant battle. The Chicken Man Man has fallen, and now it is just the Super Peasant. The box gun's still firing. We got Super Boxers. This does not look good for the Super Peasant, although he decided to go over here. Where, where is he? Oh, he's way over here. He just teleported, man. He's, he's magical. And, and that's a blue victory, guys. Anyway, 
Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed it, make sure to pull the trigger on that like button. Ladies and gentlemen, two videos a day. I will see you in the next one. Hope you enjoyed it.